In this video, we're going to show you how you can add a variety of external resources to your cards in your Hapro workspace and how that works. The way Hapro workspace is set up is that this first, second, and fourth column are all basically the same. And this third column here, your evidence column, is coded so that it'll make copies of documents that you attach to those cards. So if I create an evidence card and I add something from my Google Drive, or I could do a create new, it'll make a copy of that document when the student hits the start button. So I can either create a new doc, sheet, slide, or drawing, or I can add one of those four types of files to, to my card from my Google Drive. I'm ready to add some work to an evidence card for my students to do. I hit the plus sign. I'm going to click on this Google Drive icon. This is really important. Here's the file I wanna add. I click on the file. I click on select. Now my Google Drawing template, and this is my original, is going to get added to this evidence card. I can give it a title, and I can tell my students what I want them to do here. I want them to have a copy per student, so one copy for each student. And if I want, I can set a due date here, which will show up on the side for them, which is a great executive functioning tool. Then I hit done. Because this is a Google Drawing task, Every single time the students hit the start button and they start this task, it will force a copy of this activity. That will only happen if you are using one of the four tools listed here under Create New. So you'll only get a copy of the documents if you're using a Google Doc, a sheet, a slide, or a drawing, and only if you add it by clicking Create New or by finding the original in your Google Drive and attaching it that way. If you use the Upload or the Link button, other things are going to happen. It will not force a copy of that document, so it'll just open up to an external link. So why would you want those two buttons there? What are they for? I'm gonna now show you a variety of other tools that we can attach to our cards in our workspaces. I've created a Google Form and I wanna add my Google Form link to an evidence card. I've created this French comprehension activity and it's gonna self-mark and it's going to be wonderful. So how do I share it? You're going to go over here to send, Click on the paperclip, copy this link. Now you go back to your workspace. You have two options. You can either put it on a resource card because it is going to open up in an external page. You could just place it here and then students will see, see that activity. Or you can put it in an evidence card and paste it by clicking on that link button as well. What will happen is that the students are going to see a start button and that will prompt this link to open in a separate tab and it'll look very much like this for them. They would then do the quiz in the separate tabs. They're gonna do the activity and then hit the submit button in the Google form. Afterwards, if they go back and hit the submit button, great, but they don't have to. You should be able to go into that Google form and see their responses in the external Google form by checking their responses. Are you asking your students to use Screencastify to submit video evidence of their thinking? Once they finish their screencast, you'll see that there's a copy shareable link button over here. They can click that button. And then in your workspace, what I would do is put a blank evidence card. I like to title it, paste your screencast link here. What it'll look like for the students, they'll just see these options here when they click. So you're going to leave this blank. You're not gonna attach anything here. Just leave it as a blank card. They're going to see this little option here to click on the link. All they need to do is click on that paper clip and attach their link there and then hit submit. Are you using Jamboard with your class? This is a great interactive whiteboard that allows you and your students to annotate, to doodle, and to draw all over the screen. If you want to share one of these in a Hapro workspace, it's really important that you do a couple things first. So over here, you're going to click on share. The default is that it's private, so you're going to change that. You're gonna change it to anyone with the link can view, and you're gonna hit save. Take that link, copy it at the top, go to your workspace. In your workspace, you can again, either put it in the resource column or in the evidence column. When students click on this link, it's just gonna open up as a view only activity. So they will see this as a view only activity. They will then need to go in and make a copy of this task. So they'll click on these three dots, they'll click on make a copy, and it'll save it into their Google Drive. They will then need to take that shareable link as well 
and then paste it into the workspace. I would do the same thing that I did with my screencast. I would put a blank card and allow them to just add it to that card themselves. So students would make a copy from this link and then they're gonna paste their link here. You could also put this card here in your resource column. It doesn't have to go into this column. So this is where you've got some flexibility because we're not forcing copies of things. You could put that link over here instead. Pear Deck is a really great way to create interactive lessons where students can engage with their slide deck instead of just passively looking at the slides. If you open the Pear Deck add-on, it'll allow you to add slides to your lesson. We have other videos on that, so stay tuned for those. If you click Start Lesson once you're ready to go, Pear Deck is gonna prompt you to choose your lesson mode. Because we are now working in an asynchronous environment where students are accessing their learning at all kinds of different times, I would choose student-paced activity. And now it's ready to go. So you'll see that it's telling me the student, the session is in student pace mode. It's giving me the link that I can share with my students. So I can just take that link right there. In my workspace, I'm gonna put this one under resources because this is just kind of the activity, this is the learning. So I'm gonna paste it to my paper clip down here. So when my students click on that link, it's gonna open up for them and they're gonna receive an interactive slide deck that they can work through. So here I am in the student view. I can see that my teacher here has added this Pear Deck slide deck for me to work through. I'm gonna click on that link. It's going to prompt me to log into my student account because again, I'm gonna be answering some questions and responding to my teacher's prompts that they've already put into the deck. I can just go ahead and I can answer them directly within here. I can draw a picture do all kinds of things. Once I'm done my work, I just need to leave the, the deck. So I can just close out on that slide deck and my teacher is actually gonna get all of those answers saved in their Google Drive connected to that, to that file. If I wanna share this with my students in a workspace, I'm gonna click on the share link. I'm gonna select my sharing type. So I'm gonna make a copy and expect a response because we have that premium option. And hit continue. It's gonna give me this link. I'm gonna take this link. I'm gonna to go to my workspace. I'm gonna paste it here on a card. When my students view this one, they can click on the start button. And now as a student, I can just do this work. So I can move, I can do the task as my teacher has asked me to do it. All I need to do to share it is to hit this little arrow and it sends it to my teacher. And it tells me already that it's been shared back to my teacher, so I don't need to do anything else. If I want, I can then click submit, but that's really more of like a checklist type item. My teacher will have already received it, just like a Google form. Let's say I want my students to do some work in Book Creator. So I'm gonna do two things. I'm going to just take this link to Book Creator, app.bookcreator.com, and I'm gonna put that in my resource column, let's say. And I'm gonna paste that link to the app, just here using the paperclip. And then I'm going to, in the description box, put our class code, because this is how students are going to join your library. So here inside the library, you'll see there's an invite code. So I can copy that code. I'm gonna just put that in my description box so my students can access this task. I might have some more information there in terms of what I want them to do with this particular assignment. So students will be able to click this link and put in that code and access that book creator library. When they're finished their book, so let's say my student here has finished this book and they are ready to submit it. All they're going to do is click on this link down here. They're going to click publish online and they can publish their book. Now, you might not want your students to publish their, their books online. They can You can always just go into your library and assess their books from there. But if you want their links to all show up in your workspace, you would take that public link and have students paste it onto an evidence card just like we did with Screencastify. I'm gonna give them a blank card. And again, from the student view, what are we going to see? We're going to see a blank card here where students would just simply paste their book link there and they can submit their card that way. Last but not least, how do we add a PDF to a card? PDFs are not the best option because they are not that accessible by our students. If you need to add a PDF, so let's say I do have a story or a resource and I want them to look at, I'm gonna hit a plus sign. I'm gonna have that PDF in my Google Drive and I'm gonna click on this Google Drive button and then I'm gonna search for that file. So here's the document that I would want, want my students to see. It's a PDF. I'm gonna hit select, and it's going to attach it to my card. 
The reason I want to pull it from my Google Drive is that that's automatically going to change these sharing permissions so that any students who have this card will be able to view it. You do not have to change any permissions. You don't have to worry about it. And then you won't get all those pesky emails that ask you to grant students access. So just make sure it's in your Google Drive and that you're adding it from your Drive. Papra is coded so that everything that gets added from Drive is automatically shared with the students view only. And again, in this evidence column, anything that's coded that comes in from your Google Drive, the students should be able to make a copy other than those exceptions which we, sh which we showed you today. Hope this video helps you out and good luck with Workspace.